Hi, this is Alina with Adjuster Pro Training and we're working with Simbility today. I'm going to create a T-shaped room in this tutorial, uh, meaning you have a room with an, um, an offset maybe in the middle. And um, different from Xactimate, we're not going to use the square break tool like you would with Xactimate. They actually have these preformed rooms for us to use here in the Simbility program. So to start a T-shaped room, you want to go up to your ribbon at the top of the screen and uh, choose the T-shaped room off of this this menu here. So I'm going to left click on that T-shaped room and move my cursor down into the window. You'll notice that my cursor has turned into a crosshairs which indicates I've loaded something to my cursor which will be this room. And you can just left click once to place that room in your window. It will prompt you to go ahead and name this room and I'm just going to name it living room. And you can either type in the living room uh, verbiage there or choose it off of this drop down list. So I'm going to just name the living room there. Now as you can see it's a T-shaped room. You've got an offset jutting out of the middle of the room here and uh, you can manipulate this room in many ways. So let's just throw some dimensions in here. Um, you can either use the handles to dimension this room or uh, my favorite way is to go ahead and click on the dimension there and uh, let's make this uh, 8 foot Two. So I'm going to uh, type in the letter or the number eight, and use the apostrophe to separate my feet and inches here, and that will tell the program to uh, turn my eight apostrophe two into eight foot two inches. Now the neat thing about uh, Symbility is you can actually use your tab key on your keyboard to tab to the next dimension. So I'm starting with this right hand wall, and uh, that generally is where um, it, the program seems to like it if you start with the right hand wall and then tab to the next dimension and that'll move you around the room. So let's just enter some dimensions here. I'm going to type in the number six and then just um, all I'm doing is typing the tab key on my keyboard and that takes me to the next dimension. So it works from right to left here it seems. Um, let's put two foot there. I'm going to tab again and uh, this is going to be my southernmost wall. Let's make this six foot. Meh. How about uh, six foot eight? And I'm going to tab to the next dimension. Make that four foot. Tab to the next dimension, uh, which is this offset right here. Um, let's uh, leave that at ten and. Uh, I can, um, I'm going to show you that now that I haven't changed the dimension there, uh, notice that I did not enter in anything, I accepted what was already there, I'm now going to type the tab key and that actually closes the dimensioning, meaning it won't take you on to the next dimension unless you type something in there. So if, um, if you just leave a dimension uh, as I did with that 10 inches, I didn't type anything in, and then you type the tab key, it won't move on to the next dimension. So you'd have to click on the next one yourself and, and type that in. All right, so just a couple tips there. And that's creating a T-shaped room, and that will end this tutorial.